What's happening? What's up? What it do, baby? It's your boy Kills, Mr. I'm just trying to get a taste. Back. I hope we'll welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Like, this YouTube channel is long overdue. Like, I put this off for years. Everybody been telling me I need to make one. I've been telling myself I need to make one or whatever. But, uh, bear with me. Because I'm new to this. This, this, this is like easy to do. As easy as I thought it was, because look, this little intro right here that I'm shooting right now, that you're listening to right now. Yeah, I tried making this about 20 different times already. Right? Going back no more, this is it. So, uh, let's get into it. What you're about to watch right now is pretty much a, uh, a live podcast that I did on my, uh, my podcast. I have a podcast called Sickin' With Tales. If you haven't heard of it, go ahead and check it out. Listen to it. Give us a feedback. Tell a friend tell a friend so they can tell another friend or whatever. But, uh, so this video, I got my homework be real to uh, sit down and talk to me about why relationships aren't lasting with this generation. And bro, really, really hit some key points and got deeper to it. But uh, go ahead and check it out, listen to it. Go listen to my podcast. I got many more other episodes and just in one video I'm about to post right now. But check it out, let me know some. And let's get it. Yeah, yeah. It's your boy Pills. And on today's episode, I got my boy Be Real with The Real B. And be real brought up to me and said, why aren't relationships lasting in this day and age? Yeah, man, I uh, I seen this status as I was scrolling on Facebook and it asked, you know, why aren't relationships in this day and age lasting? And me personally, you know, I love topics like this because you know me, I'm what they like to call a philosopher or whatever you would want to call it. But, uh, you know... <laughs> Relationships nowadays don't work out for a lot of reasons, you know. But me personally, I feel as if, you know, our generation is selfish. Yeah, that's true. I can, I can, I can like, honest. honestly, our generation is selfish, man. Uh, and when I say selfish, I mean, let me give you an example. A lot of us nowadays expect a finished product when we're dealing with somebody. When you first meet them, you want everything to be in order. You know, it's okay to have standards. But a lot of us don't know how to grow with the person. That is very true. You understand? Yeah, that, that's very true. Like, we don't know how to grow with a person. If a person not everything we want, everything <laughs> we imagine the person we would be with to be, mm-hmm. then we don't make time for it. So let me ask you this. Is there such thing as having a high, uh, a high standard or unnecessary standards? I believe in unnecessary standards. And uh, high standards, I mean, I guess it all depends on the way you would look at it as an individual. All right, so what would be an unnecessary standard? Unnecessary standard. Me, personally, if a woman smoked, I couldn't take her serious. No matter what it was, cigarettes, weed, anything like that. If she smoked, I couldn't take her serious. But now, I've learned how not to be so stuck in my ways. Matter of fact, I blaze sometime now, you know, (laughs) like, (laughs) honestly. You know, it all depends on the way you grew up and the way you came up and seen your parents. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Me, personally, I never seen my mom smoke. So now, of course, the woman that I would look for, mm-hmm. I would want her in the image of my mother, right? That, that's the type of... Well, that's what, what you what you see in your mother, what you got out from your mother. That's what you look for. That's mother. what you look for in your woman, yeah. Gotcha. Nine times out of ten. That's for every individual. And a lot of women... A lot of women didn't have their fathers. You have some women. The women that I've met in my life that had their fathers... I mean, I felt like I wasn't good enough for them. And I'm sorry to say that, you know, even though I'm a great guy, I can't compare to a dad who shows his daughter how to be loved and everything he instilled in her as a young child when I'm a broken man myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still growing as a man. So, you know, a lot of women, you know, a lot of people don't have time, you know, like to help with me. And I was talking to my uh, grandma, matter of fact, let me give you an example. And I was like, grandma, how you and granddad have been married 40 years? And she was like, I was like, that's like great. I can't even spend six months with a woman without getting tired of them. How you do 40 years? And granddaddy is so perfect. How did you find the perfect man for you? I can't even get a text back. Because that man is perfect, man. I looked at him, that man perfect. You know what my grandma told me? My grandma said, Brandon, he wasn't always like that. And I'm looking. I'm like, what you mean he wasn't always like that? Like, it's the only grandfather I've ever known Mm -hmm. with her. Not biologically my grandfather, but he's all I ever had. They've been together 40 years. I'm 25. You do the math. That's my granddad. Right, right, right. Okay. So, 
She said your granddad was a drunk. It's like plenty of nights your granddad didn't come home. Plenty of nights I cried, this, that, and that, wondering where your granddad was. She was like, I loved him so much, I wanted to work through that with him. I said, so grandma, well, you know, nowadays, if you're trying to fix somebody that's messed up, you end up hurting yourself. She said, that's where the good Lord come in at, boss. She said, you had to pray. She said, I covered your granddad in prayer every night. Every night when I didn't know who he was. I cried, I heard it, but I believed in God and I had faith. And nowadays, I don't know if y'all noticed, but a lot of our generation is sh struggling with religion. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, like, it's yeah. nothing how it was. Back then, it's like you had no choice. But now, a lot of us are real free-minded when it comes to religion. And me, I question religion at times myself. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, I know there is a God. I know there is a God. I had my own personal experience with him. And with that being said, it's like, Grandma built that man. She built him up. You know, she could have easily said, I'm done, I'm tired of crying, I'm hurting, I'm this, I'm that, and just threw the relationship away. All right, so but, let me ask you, let me ask you this. What's hard for you out here? What make it hard for you? To love? It's not really I, I ain't going to say to love, but to like just, okay, say you say you, you get to the point where you love someone, y'all would woo in a relationship, and right. then the third. Right. Because are you single right now? Uh, Kind of, sort of, yeah. All right, so before 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 the situation you're in now, what made that not last long? Or how long did it last? What situation? Though? Like your relationship you was in. The last relationship you was in, how long did it last? The last one I was in lasted probably about six months. Why did it only last six months? Uh, honestly, I wasn't really feeling the relationship. You ever got so tired of being alone, you were just settled, like, you know, not taking, not discrediting the woman because she was great. But my heart wasn't there from the get go, you know. And as a man, I should have been man enough to tell her that. So does but that play a part too? As in, like your loneliness, just my settling. Loneliness, yes, loneliness. Settling. Yeah, loneliness will cause for you to settle. All right. So that's could that be thrown in as like part of the whole relationship not lasting long because I'm in it for the wrong reason. That's exactly what it falls under. If you want to be technical, yeah, like yes, definitely, I agree. I feel you, I feel you. But you know, and women, you know, women are some of the most. I love them to death. I love them to death. I love they them evil. To death. But they are some of the most. Nah, it's hard to understand a woman. A woman don't fully understand herself, so right. you will never fully understand that woman. But a lot of the women I deal with have, of course, been hurt, been drugged through the mud by some guy, mm. you know, or are either stuck on you know certain people. You know, and I feel as if just as if, just as if men should be men and say what it is, women should be women and say what it is up front. Some women see your potential, Reggie. They like your potential. They care about your potential, but they don't feel that way about you from the heart, and they're scared to say that to you. And the same thing they do it to me too. Mm -hmm. You know, and that damages a lot of us good men. And in life, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Sometimes you can pretend to be somebody you're not for so long that you actually forget who you was as a person. I did yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I did it. Yeah. Got tired of being hurt. Got tired of being drugged through the mud. So I pretended. I pretended to be this asshole. This guy that just didn't care. And you know what? Sooner or later, I forgot who I was. I couldn't be good if I wanted to be good. I clocked one woman out. I'm clocking another one in. My mama never raised me like that. But I forgot. Life is your biggest teacher when learning, you know, about love, about life, about taxes. Life going to be your biggest teacher. You ever heard the saying, you can lead a mule to the water, but you can't make them drink? That that statement is so true. That statement is so true. And life gonna teach you, me, our children when we have them way more than we could have ever taught them. We can try to prepare them as much as we want to, but at the end of the day, they have to go out here and experience life life for themselves. You know. And with love, all I'm gonna say is relationship wise, you have to be willing to fight, and it has to be sincere. You know, a lot of people want to go on trips and stuff now they want to look cute want to match this that, and the third yeah. just to take a picture and post it online social media fuck everybody up. yes social media yes fuck everybody up. yes i'm not a big fan of social media i'm actually you know working my way off there and i know i have a photography business and stuff like that but you know a healthy life a healthy relationship i feel like is way better than even being on it i have to learn how to distinguish the two i'm in a battle with myself with social media because i feel like social media ruined every good thing i'm the type of guy that would love to go somewhere with you I won't take a picture all night. I won't take a picture. I'm, if I take one, it'll be a selfie. It'll be in my phone. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of females are insecure to the point nowadays that 
Why you not posting us? This that and third. Thinking you hind something. You hind something. You not my social media life. You my real life. And it sounds like I'm just being a player at the end of the day. I'm being a real man. Yeah. That's how I really feel. You know, you listen to friends and stuff. We all do it. We listen to friends. We listen to people around us. And we kind of let people that's not happy determine our happiness when it comes to relationships. Even as far as marriage. How many times have you heard somebody that's been married say, don't do that. No, uh no, uh uh-uh, I ain't doing that no more. No, <laughs> no, I ain't doing that no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, I would, uh-huh. like, that energy right there is energy you don't need in your life because they probably made a mistake that you won't make. Mm. Sometimes we give signs that this we get signs that the person we're dealing with may not be the person for us. But we choose to look past those signs because, okay, well, I can do this, I can do that. Me personally, I honestly feel you have to have a few deal breakers. Like, there has to be something you aren't willing to accept in a relationship. And you have to know that before you get in a relationship what you aren't willing to accept. Some things be small, you can grow with. But some things got to be a deal breaker. What's a deal breaker for you? That's a good question. What is a deal breaker for you? Well, that question right there kind of shut me up. And you know what's crazy? And you know the thing about it is? I feel like I can change anybody, but what I won't deal with? If you have a bad heart, when I say bad heart, I love a compassionate woman. Mm-hmm. If you're evil to me, if your heart is just not right to me, like, you know what I mean. I need a woman that's going to be my motivation and uplift me when I go through it, when I'm down. Like, I feel like if you're not motivating me, helping me, or growing with me, that's a deal breaker. You know, I don't care what you got going on as far as in your life. I'm here to support you just like you're here to support me. All right, I got look. I got a question. You doing good, boy? I, I, I got I got I got something for you because I'm gonna piggyback up off of my home. But Jewel said yesterday, was talk to the me. podcast. Talk to me. What well, I don't think it was yesterday. Or something. Sometimes he asked me a question. He said, he said, would you be all right with your with your girl, your wife, or whatever, being okay with working McDonald's for the rest of her life? No. No. Bill, wait, McDonald's. Wait, 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 let me say this. Let me say this. Bills paid and everything. Like he he said, bills paid. She take care of everything around the house. This, that, and the third, and she really ain't want nothing. But he she said all that? Yeah, he, but she just want to... Honestly. She just want to be at McDonald's. She's okay with working at McDonald's for the rest of her life. Honestly. If she is okay with that, and that's what she want to do, and our bills and everything are paid, I can't do nothing but support her. And that's that's the problem with relationship nowadays. We are so judgmental. We feel as if, as if McDonald's is just like the lowest of the low besides janitor, uh, janitorial, you, you know, know stuff crazy. like that. I, I told him... I accept janitorial over, over McDonald's. You see? And, you know, it's just the way we look at McDonald's as a human race. But, honestly, McDonald's is a job. It's a job. You know, everybody everybody don't want to make the 100K a year, if, if that makes sense. But as far as that's where being a real man comes in, that if this is if this is her heart and her passion, maybe she feels some type of way about McDonald's that you don't know because you never experienced McDonald's. And what I said We need to learn how to support our significant other in whatever they do. My and as long as we're not struggling, she's not struggling. Ain't nothing wrong with bettering them. But make sure, it. make sure you know that it's where they want to be. You can't better them your way. You can't change the per- person to be what you want them to be. All right. So am I selfish for saying I feel like a McDonald's job? Or I mean, I'm not nobody that works at McDonald's and nothing like that. But as far as me and my hustle, my ambition, I'm thinking how I can make the next million dollars. Right. And I want somebody that's going to match my ambition and my hustle. Am I wrong for like... No, Let you're not wrong, some but like that. every other person out here on this earth is saying, thinking the same way you're thinking. And the truth is that we need to accept everybody won't be a millionaire. You got to know this. I mean, yeah, that, everybody, that's completely But that's same. everybody's goal. Everybody right. wants to be a millionaire. How many times have you heard, oh, I'm finna get this money, I'm finna get the million, I'm chasing a bag, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But if am you, I wrong for feeling that type of way, though? You're not wrong. For wanting somebody who has, for wanting a woman that's going to match my hustle, my ambition. So let me ask you a question. What does this woman do for you? How does she make you feel as a person? Who the girl that works at McDonald's? I'm saying it, my point oh, is just in general. In general, I mean, I, I'm saying she, she's is, the fool. She's the fool. Okay, say this. My point is, we always find something wrong with a person. That's us. That's, that's our generation. Okay. We find something wrong. Truth is, we're getting older now, man. Like we're getting older, and McDonald's it's not a career, but at the end of the day, if that makes you happy, you get up and take your butt to work every day. I know women who. On Section 8, not finna move. Like, I ain't going no, I ain't doing nothing. If you got a woman that want to work and help you, and as a man, as a man, I would love to pay all the bills for my woman, regardless of what she's doing with herself. But you got some women out here who not finna work. 
Yeah. They think that little thing between their legs, you know, and, and that little mouth or really all they need to bring to the table. When you got a woman that's contributing to, you know, to home, mm -hmm. no matter how she's contributing, she's not out here stealing, taking from nobody. That's an honest living at the end of the day. And I feel like that's what breaks relationships up, too, because we as people, we're so judgmental. Even if we say we're not, we are. People judge. You ever heard the stone? Sticks and stone may break my bone, but words that never hurt. Stuff like that hurt. You really tell me you would really take a girl through that when she out here really working? It depends on the way you look at the situation. She working, bro. She working. As time goes on, you will gradually want to do more for yourself. You just got to be patient with some people. A lot of people are going to elevate and change over time, but when they get ready, not when you ready for them to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, you'll get tired of your situation, and you're going to change your situation. All right, so, man, let me, uh, since you just said all okay. that, let me ask you this. Okay. I, I ain't for the name, no name. Okay. But that situation that happened over there the, a couple of years ago about the whole, yeah, okay. you know. Okay. Uh, that's was, what he, I was he wrong? Because it all goes back to, I want, I want, I want more for you. And you know, and I said when he asked me, I said, "Bro, it's I, crazy. I, I legit I, yeah, seen I, something like this before." I don't, I don't too much want to comment on that situation because it's a personal situation that you know that man, I'm pretty sure. Know. Man, look, you I sure? tell you what, I tell you what, I feel like he went wrong for feeling how he felt. Because uh -huh. of why? Man, he, he he wanted her to match his ambition. His husband. I'm gonna tell you what. Before you got that deep in it, you should have went on handled all that from the get go. Yeah, that's so now man. that you far up in here, you can't do that. Then that's the point of getting to learn people. We want to meet people. Hey, I'm Brandon. We're in a relationship now. No, you can't do that. You can't. I gotta know everything about you. I gotta know what are your ambitions. What are your goals? Do you want kids? Do you plan on living in a trailer? Do you want a house? That's true. That's all like we true. not learning people. We feel like we meet them. They make me smile one time. We had set one time. Bam, we together. Mm -hmm. No, nah, yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Know. It's all a part of growing, bro. When I was a child, I acted as a child. But when I became a man, I put away my child away. Simple as that. I'm trying to figure out when I'm supposed to sip some liquor because you said it's sipping with Kale. What to look at? Oh, right, well, go ahead and take a shot. Hey, right, that's what I'm talking about, homeboy. Yeah, you ain't going to get all that free knowledge for my free. Bad. My bad, my dog. What's wrong with you? Drink up. Really hey, y'all, we sipping with Kale, man. It's your boy, Be Real. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Kale. And this sipping with Kale. Let's get it. Mm. <laughs> Damn, that cobble walker good.